Oh, we're gonna do a little review then. Okay, so we might miss the coolest technique at the end because we gotta cover the beginning again because some of you don't like to come to my class. All right, so look, check it out. We're in half guard. This guy's playing a really nice knee shield. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna cup the thigh and I'm gonna put pressure on it. Okay, so I want my chest over the top of his knee, okay? So I don't want his knee to be flared out, outward, all right? Cup his chest. I want, I don't, I'm not trying to smash it all the way closed. I just want to have a little pressure over the top, okay? This hand here, my free hand, I'm looking to grab his wrist and punch it to his body, okay? Simultaneously, I'm going to get the foot out and I'm going to post. All right, so it looks like this. He's playing his guard. I cup, punch, post. All right, so from here, all we're doing, we're taking a big, wide step over. Okay, here, here. I'm swinging this leg. Not long. I'm going to kick him in the space. Up and over. Okay, so from here, the hand that's cupping the thigh is going to the mat. The hand that's holding his wrist I'm gonna control the leg, okay? Now from here, I'm just sliding this knee through. Boom. Okay, so we ended up in 50-50. Uh, in All right, well, matter of fact, um, I missed up. Let's add the pass, because I started with the pass last time, so we're gonna start with a, a pass this time. All right, so same thing. So that'll be the next technique. All right, so same thing here and here. All right, so all I'm doing, I'm stepping here. And this time I'm gonna put weight on, put weight on this foot. And I'm gonna use my hamstring to kick his knee back. Okay, so I'm here, my kick here. And I can come down into knee ride and come down into side control. All right, so really simple, really easy to help you get used to uh, this, uh, leg because some people have a little trouble due to flexibility getting this leg over all right so you need to feel comfortable in here stepping over i like to finish a knee right because the knee is already set up there but if you want you just come down to your good side control all right so really easy one more time we're going to start off here so we're going to go for the pass first and then we're going to go for the 50 up in here, putting a little pressure on his knee. Okay, I don't want his knee to be vertical. I want his knee to be down like at a, at a 75 or 45 angle here. All right, this one, I'm gonna need to control this one. The reason I'm controlling, because if it's up and I try to whip it across, he's gonna catch, well, he's gonna, not that way. He's just gonna catch it going across here, all right? And then, it's a bad, he's not gonna catch it with his hand. He's gonna catch it with his arm here and then I'm in a bad position, okay? <clears throat> so here, here, boom, stepping over. All right, if you need to, you can rip this knee out through, but I'm putting all the weight on this foot now, here, and I'm, I'm diving my, uh, my posture down low so that I can get the underhook, same time I get the knee up, all right? Let's see, one, two, three, four. When I take this step, I don't want my toes to be pointing out this way, okay? It's gonna make it easier for him to pummel under, right? And it's gonna be, make it harder for me to pivot and turn into my, my uh, pass, okay? So <clears throat> I'm uh, already turning my knee so it makes my pivot even easier, right? So when I whip over, this foot hmm. is aligned with his body here. My toes are pointing up towards his head. I don't want it to point here because imagine having to turn back all the way around, right? Versus if my foot is here already, I'm already perfect and ready for my uh, pass. Okay, so it's just, you're just, instead of taking a step, you're just bending here and then you're stomping. Right? So big whip around, bend. Okay, it doesn't take too much flexibility. If it feels like your heel is up, then that's fine. As soon as you put weight on it, it's going to become really strong and solid uh, of a uh, weight distribution here. Okay? Let's go. Keep going. One, two, three. It's okay to hang out here. 
But as soon as I go, like I'm going straight into the path. I don't want to stop with that foot across, okay? You got to bust the move really fast. Okay, so now we're familiar with the, the transition. We're going to go into something that we covered uh, last week. So again, we're going to 50-50 uh, uh, variation. So here, my big circle across. I'm posting on the mat. Okay, My hand comes to control. This knee that's on the mat, all I'm doing is sliding the knee through. Okay, You want to slide the knee all the way through and get this leg through. So from here, I showed um, three different uh, ankle locks. Right, we show uh, the same side, feet on the hips, and uh, attacking here. We show passing it across and hitting a, um, a toe hold style um, leg lock. And we show, I show what to do when they lock up here. We're going to shove it, right, and then we're going to bring it across and attack here. All right. So this is all under the presumption that this guy either doesn't know how to defend well or he wants to play the leg lock game, okay? So I thought about the situation like, what if this guy, he, he, he doesn't like leg locks and he just wants to get up, all right? So <clears throat> if, he, if he looks, he starts to defend, all right, what's, what's one of the best ways to defend an uh, ankle lock? Stand up, all right? So if when I come across here, and I slide into position, he may already start to stand up, okay? And then I'm in this weird kind of uncomfortable position where I can't attack the leg anymore because there's weight on, all right? So I need to have an option from here as well. So first thing I'm gonna do, I'm not gonna triangle my legs, all right? I need my legs to be open here. Both of my arms need to do double underhook. So I'm gonna underhook his, uh, this leg first, right by his ankle, Right? I'm gonna pull that up. Same time I underhook this side. Okay? So now I have double underhooks. His leg is kind of resting on my hamstring. Okay? I'm gonna use my hamstring, my hips up to elevate, to elevate his leg here. Okay? That's gonna create enough space for this knee to come in. Okay? So when I'm here. So one more time, how we get to the position. Here, instead I'm buzzing my move, I come across, I post, drag, he's already coming up. I'm like, oh no, okay, I can't, I can't uh, attack my leg locks anymore. So I'm gonna underhook here, okay, if I need to use the mat, because this foot may be really sticky on the mat, really heavy, so I have to use my hip too, to really get that uh, foot off the mat, okay. This hand, gonna come in underhook and now his leg is resting on my hamstring my hips go up that creates space for my knee okay I get my knee in here right and then I need to get this other knee under so see how this knee is here I'm gonna lift with this leg and get the other knee on right now what is it starting to look like That's X guard right so now that I have the X guard I want him to post on his hand and I have many different finishes from here, all right? So I can extend and come up for technical stand-up, all right? This bottom foot can drop towards the heel and sweep him back towards this way, all right? Or I'm going to grab his heel, pull it to this side of my body, all right? And I'm going to start to come up and take the back. All right, so let's get back to the position one more time. <clears throat> so this is all very situational. If you were here yet uh, last week, if he plays here with you, and you've got a lot of good attacks, you can attack here, right? You can attack here, you can attack here, right? But maybe this guy, he doesn't want to play a leg lock. He has good defense, he just wants to get up, he wants to get out of there. I'm here, here. I whip around, I slide, he stands up here, right? I can't allow him to stand all the way up, right? I need to get under, double under, 
All right? Here, he's going to feel a little heavy. My hips, I'm just raising my hips off the mat. Here, hips off the mat, I get my knee in. Now, once, once this knee is in, I have to get this knee on the opposite side of his body. So I'm going to lift, bring this knee under. Okay, so now we're in half, I mean, uh, X guard position. I got one behind his knee. This one should be up into his hip, right? This one is right here on my shoulder, keeping this tight. And I can finish however I feel I need to, right? Everybody pretty familiar with uh, X-Bar Good. All right, let's go. One, two, three.